In this video, we are going to talk about the parts lists within Civil 3D. In the previous video, we went through the parts builder and you saw how to add parts, delete parts, modify parts if you had to. And we are going to be taking those definitions and adding them into our drawing. Now, the parts that you modified before were a temporary little uh, placeholder for Civil 3D to just store the pipe sizes. Now, we need to get those pipe sizes into our actual drawing. Now, how do we do that? So there's a couple ways. The first way, if you click on pipes, parts list, create. So we're gonna create a parts list and the first tab that comes up is the parts list style, what we're gonna be adding everything into. And now again, name this descriptively. Name your objects what you're gonna be designing. So I'm gonna call this sanitary two as I already have a sanitary style in my drawing. So under the pipes tab, we see new parts lists. So there's nothing in here we need to add stuff in. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna add a part family. This list should look pretty familiar as it was what you saw in the parts builder. So it just has your circular pipes, your egg shaped pipes, elliptical pipes, and your rectangular pipes. For sanitary, we're only concerned with PVC pipes as our size is not gonna be big enough to warrant a concrete pipe. So we're gonna select PVC pipe SI, and we're gonna click OK. Now, it's uh, changed the name of this to Sanitary 2, which is the same as your network parts list. And we're gonna click the little plus to see what happened. Well, it's added a placeholder for PVC pipes SI, but it hasn't placed any sizes in here for us. So we're gonna right click on PVC pipe SI and click add part size. In this next box that pops up, this is your part size creator. So in here is where we define and add in our actual part sizes to the drawing. So if you remember back to the design guidelines for subdivision servicing, the city of Calgary uses anything under 400 mil would be PVC, anything over 400 mil will be concrete. So we're gonna use 200, 250, 300, and 375. So we can add them all at once and this is gonna add every pipe size in our parts builder to our list, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna add just the four we need as it's gonna keep less clutter in our drawing and allow us a very specific selection when we're picking them. So I'm gonna select 200. I'm gonna to have to change this down here to PVC and we can leave the rest of uh, the boxes in here as default. So we'll click okay. If we expand PVC, we now have a 200 millimeter PVC pipe in here. We're gonna right click and add part size and we're gonna add our other three part sizes. So we have a 250 PVC, click okay. Right click, add part size. We have a 300 millimeter PVC pipe, click okay. And finally, we have a 375 millimeter PVC pipe. So 375 PVC, we'll click okay. We have our four pipe sizes in here now. It's automatically placed the style of sanitary for when you're creating water and storm, you will have to update this. So just to show you how to do it, we'll click the little savey icon, select your sanitary, click okay. It's automatically applied the water rules to these. So we wanna set our sanitary rules up. So when we create a sanitary pipe, we want the sanitary style and we want the sanitary rules to be used. We don't need to worry about render material or pay items. So we have our pipe set up, we need to add structures in now. Now, by default, structure lists come with this null structure. And all the null structure is, is a placeholder for basically your water line to connect two pipes together. So we can just leave that there, ignore it. We're gonna right click and we're gonna add a part family. Now here's the part catalogs for your structure. So there's quite a few of them, they're all different looking. Click on the pictures, take a look at what they look like. And the one we're gonna be adding is concentric cylindrical structure SI under junction structures with frames. So I'm gonna select that, click okay. It's added the concentric cylindrical structure SI into my list. I have to right click, I now have to add a part size to it. I need to populate it with something. So we have all different selections for wall thicknesses, floor thicknesses. We're just gonna leave it as default, only add in the 1200 diameter manhole Make sure everything is just set up properly. Looks good to me. And we're gonna click okay. 
So now we've created our sanitary parts list with our one manhole and our four needed pipes. So if you come into the summary tab, that is basically what it tells us. Information, it tells you the name of it and number of pipes, number of structures. So we've added four pipes, we've added two structures, the null structure counts for one of them. So we'll just expand the little pluses and make sure these are on the proper si styles. We're gonna go manhole, We'll leave that on manhole. And we have these set up for our manhole rules. So we're gonna click okay. You've created your parts list, you've clicked okay, now it seemed to have disappeared. So there's two ways to access it. You can click pipes, parts list, edit, and it'll allow you to select it again. Or you can go into your tool space. So I've typed in show TS for tool space. And it's under the settings tab. If you come under Pipe networks, parts list. Here's the sanitary two we just made. So as you see, I have sanitary storm and water. I'm gonna quickly show my storm and water ones. So under the pipes, I have PVC and concrete in specific sizes. Under the structures, I have my null structure, my manhole structure, the concentric cylindrical structure, and my catch basin. So that'd be your rectangular structure slab top. And if we look under the summary tab, there's 37 pipes, three structures. Now keep in mind, I added more pipes than was needed. So you'll be adding the four PVCs and maybe one, two, three, five or six concrete pipes to your list. So I'm going to click OK and quickly show you my water parts list. Now under the pipes, we have PVC only. It doesn't get larger than 400. Under the structures, I have my null structure, so this is for connecting two water pipes together. It just makes it easier to adjust things if you need to. I have a cylindrical junction structure as well. So this is going to be your fire hydrants. One more thing about the null structure is I'm using these as valves and T's in your line. You can name them, you can rename them, put them in a table if it's on a 90 degree bend. You can name it 90 degree T1, just make sure you label it in your plan view. So we're gonna click okay. And that is parts list.